<laughs> okay, so um, for season two, uh, I know uh, Jason mentioned that you guys are already filming uh, episode three and four. Right. Um, how hard or easy is, is it to uh, kind of know where you're at in the storyline when you're filming both episodes? <laughs> it, some days it's hard to keep my head straight. Yeah. Um, but it's part of the fun of what we do. Yeah. You know, because even though I'm, even if you're shooting the one episode, the action can be broken up. So you might have filmed the end long before you get to the beginning. So it's kind of what we have to do. It's just more complicated now. We're doing it over two episodes right. at yeah. the same time. Yeah, so sometimes in our day, we'll start with the end of 204 and then jump to the middle of 203. Right. And, um, but, I mean, it definitely keeps us on our toes. What's your, um, what drew you to the project from the Night Texas? Like, you know, I don't know if you're horror fans or not, but what elements of the story that really pulled you, pulled you in and, you know, made you want to be a part of it? Um, for me, I loved the character. You know, when I uh, read the pilot, I remember thinking I, um, I, I feel very connected to psychics and to mediums and to telling that story, so I really loved Manfred's storyline. And then I equally loved the challenges of Olivia. I thought how interesting that here's this badass chick that is like clearly so broken on the inside that she's so hard on the outside, and I thought that would be really fun to play. Plus there's Charlene, so. <laughs> so there's that. What about you? <laughs> um... Similarly, I think one because I like Harry. I actually worked on one of Charlene's projects before when I was in True Blood. Um, so to do something new was exciting. You know, the idea was exciting, and then I got to read the pilot and meet the creators, and got a sense that they were actually going to do this in a slightly different way, um, which is always great. You know? Sort of, it's it's an interesting story of community. Um, and an interesting story of sort of inclusion, despite what you might look, um, what you might look like. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, and the mule is a pretty challenging, you know, to to take on something that was known and loved, looking one way, and actually a character that has to, you know been around five hundred years. That's hard enough. Um, and trying to change and trying to be normal and, and try and fall in love and do things that, you know, I've done a lot of badass roles, killing and maiming and doing whatever, and all of a sudden giving your heart to somebody. So, yeah, it was a great project. Different, different set of challenges. Different set of challenges. Any memorable moments from this season for you while filming? Season two or season, season two. one? Season two. Well, we're only just starting, so. We've got a long way to go. Yeah. What I will say, though, is that um, it starts with a bang. Here's the thing. Literally, day one of filming, we had to do a love scene. Oh. Day one. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while, but hi. <laughs> That's how that goes. <laughs> That's how that goes. Yep. And, and literally, every episode, there's a major twist. I thought you were going to say there's a bang. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Not from us, maybe Fiji. We're be married now. Y'all yeah. don't need to see us. <laughs> it's them you want to see. You know. Are we gonna see more of uh, Olivia's family in this coming? Season? I hope so. Um, no, we do. We do. Uh, we definitely learn a little bit more about her backstory. Um, there will be a, a family family stuff. <laughs> what can I, how can yeah, I put exactly. this? <laughs> there will be there will be more answers provided and more healing for Olivia this season. Yeah. So uh, it's easy to well with that statement. Um, there will be more backstory in regards to your character, your family. Uh, hopefully, are you, is there going to be more of a backstory, more information about your well, long life? I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know as yet. What I do know is there's definitely 
a more in-depth exploration of his current, you know, he just got married, so there's, there's a whole lot to do there. Um, and he's, you know, he'll be discovering a lot more about her and her family. I mean, you kind of go through the journey with us, so that's probably what you're going to see. It sounds like it's going to be really exciting. Some, yeah! Some horror yeah. elements in there. Because you can always ramp up the horror more. There's never too much of it. Right. Of it um, but I'm wondering, where do you see, where would you like to see the future of the show if you had five years to be on the air? Where would you like to see your characters go? Wait. Wait. Are they being evicted or are they... You could finish an answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, well, first and foremost, yeah, that's a blessing to be able to have that kind of time to explore our character, story, and the interrelationships of everybody. Um, and I guess part of it is, you know, as we do this, there's probably no limit to what we explore. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's sort of hard to say what direction in particular. I think already... They want to hear if you want to have kids. Well, already that's a topic of discussion. He's going to cut to the chase. And as you can tell, my wife really likes to get to the point, so you have stuff coming. Okay, we need to move each other. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.